Welcome, welcome everybody. You are about to meet a personality that has become most associated with the most iconic mushroom in the world. Absolutely. The mushroom is Amanita muscaria, the person, the woman, the force behind a incredible uh, online site that pulls together the most amount of research and education uh, related specifically to this mushroom is Amanita Dreamer. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Jolie, Amanita is the brand new author of this incredible new book. Hopefully that's not flipped around as people watch it. Congratulations. What a great job. Dosing Amanita and what to expect. Cool. So you're going to be joining us here in Calgary uh, for a book signing VIP event. We'll share a little bit, a little bit of details as we kind of uh, make our way through this chat this morning, but uh, yeah, excited to have you on and really looking forward to connecting again in person uh, this August. I can't wait to come. Uh, Calgary is one of my favorite cities. I have a lot of friends there. I love your store. Yeah. It's one of my favorite places to visit. So getting to do this is just like really exciting. Yeah, it's awesome. Well, just before we hit record, we're talking about living the dream, right? Amanita Dreamer, you are, you have dreamed this creation, this life that you're living, which is just absolutely marvelous. And I think uh, beyond your wildest dreams of, of where you're at now, tell us a little bit about that journey and, and uh, what your life looks like as Amanita Dreamer. You know, before this life, <laughs> in my other life, I was a stressed out mess and I didn't understand living in the current construct and my autism and it was already just not okay when Hurricane Katrina happened. Coming out of that, having to get on benzodiazepines for severe panic attacks, winding up, you know, like five years later on those, starting to get memory issues. And I learned about dementia on these drugs. And then another five years of trying to get off of them, it opened up a hell that I've never experienced and I didn't know that my body could could do to me just trying to come off of one simple drug. I, I consider myself a pretty strong individual and it just, it, it took me down five whole years and I wound up just really contemplating leaving the planet and then went beyond that to making those actual plans. And right before I, I went through with it, I just heard a voice out on my back deck telling me to come into the woods and as soon as I got into the woods, I met this amazing creature <laughs> and I picked it and I researched it and learned that it was nature's answer to everything that I had been struggling with. I got a lot of bad information. There was very little on the internet at the time and it was bad. And when I looked at the research, having a science background, I learned that the research was very positive, the science, was good, although some of the studies were problematic, highly problematic, but I understood the biochemistry in it made sense. And that trusting my science background gave me the courage to take the mushroom and ignore the noise that was clearly not true. That, that the fight between what the science told me and what was all over the internet, anecdotally by people who actually used it were completely conflicting. I mean, completely polar opposites. So it was frightening to risk taking it. But also I was I was in a position where, you know. <laughs> yeah, what, what did you have to lose? Didn't right? have much to lose. And it changed my life overnight. I, I don't understand how one substance one time can cause that much permanent positive change, but I never suffered another withdrawal symptom again. That's the last time I used a pharmaceutical and it introduced me to the world of living medicine that is sentient, that is a conversation. And that mushroom voice started immediately and it's been ever present ever since. And it has guided my path. And I am happy to say I live in service now to the mushrooms. I do their bidding gladly and happily. And if the payoff is this kind of life, if they're a cult, I joined their cult gladly <laughs> because <laughs> they're beautiful people. But I've since learned about the sentience of so many things. And my life is so rich now. And it's been because I've been willing to do the work 
listen when they call, take the higher doses, go through that shadow work, cry alone and, and be afraid, face shame, face that ugly stuff, and continue to say yes to experiences that seem terrifying and wind up being beautiful and opening more doors. I meet beautiful people like you and your entire community. And then that just continues to duplicate around the world. And the day they said, well, I guess it's time to write a book instead of being, oh, you know, and arguing about it, <laughs> like I did building the channel. I was like, cool, let's do it. And the next thing you know, I'm holding this in my hands and talking to you and meeting people. So yeah, yeah I was just telling you before we recorded, like I wake up every day wondering like is this real life can life be this good every day like this it just wake up so great grateful every day yeah that's awesome yeah what a beautiful story and i i love the power of i mean i i don't think there's a person you know not alive today that you know hasn't been drawn in by like just the amnita the look of it right there's just something <laughs> alluring there's something magical and that's <laughs> That's why it has become the most iconic mushroom. I mean, it's in children's fairy books. It's in like just everywhere as this symbol, this representation. And for you to be called, right? And, and to enter in that doorway and just lead this this down this path uh, to where you are now is, is just miraculous and so wonderful to hear. So, well, I know that this book was a, was a labor of love. And uh, like you said, when you first kind of got into this, you started researching, there was this conflict between, you know, the science and the anecdotes and like really digging in. What is the deal with this? And, uh, you know, your YouTube channel has hours and hours and hours and hours of content uh, really exploring that. And the book is kind of a, a condensation of, of the best of that. Uh, and, it, and it's not just something that, you know, one reads in an afternoon, like you've really developed this as as a workbook for people to kind of dive into to really deepen the relationship not only with Amanita but most importantly themselves um tell us a little bit about that that process and and what the book offers for people I wrote it because what I noticed the gap out there in the community was integration like I give you here's how you make it here's how you take it and then all these different videos of hey you're are you experiencing this hey, Amanita can help with that. But what I noticed in my community, I have a mushroom voice community and I do Zoom meetings and stuff. And the biggest need was, am I normal? Is this happening? Is this okay? Is this safe? Did you get this? I'm experiencing that. And just a lot of fear and then a lot of processing. So we already have sort of an infrastructure around psilocybin use and now more with, DMT-based ayahuasca use, but we don't have anything like that built for Amanita. And people think just because it's a mushroom, it must just be the same thing as psilocybin. And that's like saying, well, you know, I met a skunk, therefore all humans must be alike. Like they're, <laughs> what? <laughs> the, you know, like they're completely different living things and they affect you completely differently from the very beginning of how they grow and how they look to how you would utilize them to their medicines to then the after effects. So I teach about that to help build a lexicon of information so that it's common knowledge. The same way if you want to do psilocybin, you can Google anything about it and get accurate information about, yes, you can grow it. Where is it legal? How do you harvest it? How do you use it? What are the gram dosages? What would you expect at each one? What are the positive effects physically, emotionally, spiritually? It's all out there, but it doesn't exist for this. So the biggest thing that I wanted to do in the book is help allay fear and help people work through what they're going to go through almost immediately from the very first dose. And I didn't have that help. And I almost quit taking it literally every month. Every time something new would happen, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going insane. This isn't normal. What's going on? And I didn't have anyone to talk to about it. Now that I'm four years on the other side of all of it, I have this big picture understanding of why each of those things happened how they were important to each other and how they were important 
to the human. And the end goal of ascension through those learnings and that journey, where it's going to land you and how people tend to move through that journey. So I gave it to people to be able to work through it, to answer their own questions by going through the data, checking off boxes, marking accomplishments and fears and different data points for all of the things that this mushroom addresses so that you can establish a baseline as you're moving through those things and then can see your progress on the other side of it. So it's sort of like a how-to cookbook, instruction manual, integration book, handbook, <laughs> sort of smushed together into some spiritual philosophy on the back end. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for uh, joining us in this call this morning and really looking forward to having you come out and share about uh, Amanita on August 17th. It'll be your second time to Calgary. Last time it was a part of the Medicinal Mushroom Symposium. And this time it's going to be all you for a very kind of intimate gathering. We've got a number of spaces for folks to show up for the presentation. We'll start with kind of uh, educational dive into the world of Amanita. And then uh, for those that want to kind of go VIP, sign book plus uh, some time one-on-one -on -one and in a very small group with you that evening. So it's Thursday, August 17th, seven to nine. And uh, yeah, go check lightseller.ca live classes and events. And uh, we'll look forward to that event. And before we sign off, for those that would love to uh, learn more about you, start diving into your work, uh, share some links of where folks can access you and the information you share. My world is at AmanitaDreamer.net if you want to learn anything about this mushroom. And if you want to hang out with us, I have a community at MushroomVoice.com. So you can come find us there. And I'm so excited. I, I'm the one that reached out to you, remember? And I said, I love Calgary. I miss Calgary. Can I come back? And I told you yeah. about the book. You're like, oh my gosh, yes, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, totally. So what what a great opportunity. And uh, I hope folks watching will take advantage. And I know we're going to have a great time. So we'll see you uh, August 17th. And thanks again for the chat this morning. Yeah, I can't wait. All right. Bye for now. <laughs>